Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another video. Now, this is a follow-up video to my previous video that was about how to jailbreak um, using Electra on iOS 11.2 all the way up to 11.4 beta 1, 2 or 3. Now, I had a lot of comments that I was replying to on my YouTube channel, as you can see. Um, I tried getting back to everyone, but I could not, unfortunately. And I feel really bad that I can't help every one of you out. Now, I had some of you guys who are messaging me on Instagram and Snapchat and tweeting me. Um, I tried helping as many of you as you can. Um, I'm gonna put some screenshots right now as I explain what's going on so that you guys know that I'm actually trying to help you guys. So, like I said, I'm trying to get back to you guys, but it's just that the amount of people um, trying to reach out to me is just intense. I can't get back to every one of you. Like personally, I've been trying to help you like one by one, and I've I've helped many people already fix their jailbreak issues. And for those of you who um, I I couldn't help, I I think I sent you this link so that you guys can check this video out. This is just because it's gonna be easier for me to um, reach many people at once, and also. Uh, for you guys so that you know what's going on and where you're going wrong now still after this video if you guys have any questions let me know in the comment section or you guys can hit me up on my social media um i'm gonna be there to reply to everyone like just like before how i did um but if i take time that i'm sorry i have it's just that i have many people messaging me at once now without any without wasting any more time honest gets get done with this video so that you guys can enjoy the jailbreak as you can see I personally have a six skin enabled on my home screen and my lock screen. Now, I'm gonna be um, starting off with uh, the iPhone 7 issue as it turns out that um, the iOS, I mean, yeah, so the iOS 11.4 beta 3, um, I think, beta 1, 2 and 3 is some, some, some people having issues with the iPhone 7 one because they can't um, get it get the IP to IPSW to install now. This is one very simple thing um, I, I went through many forums myself as I said, I'm trying to help you guys So one of the things I noticed is that no one is using the correct IPSW file now I can back my statement up by using this notes section IPSW does not include the files for iPhone 7 and again, if I scroll down, IPSW does not include the files for iPhone 7 Plus. And this is the iPhone Wiki. It's a HTTPS site. It's not any fake website. It has tons and tons of IPSW files, as you can see. So if you're on iPhone 7, then I'm sorry, um, iPhone 7 or 7 Plus. The, the reason behind um, you not being able to install the IPSW is simply because that Apple does not officially, for some apparent reason, which I don't know, doesn't have the correct IPSW out there and that is why you're not being able to um, install the IPSW and um, get the jailbreak. Now, this is not the end as, um, you know, there's always a bright side. So I was going through Twitter and stuff and like I said, I'm trying to help you guys, right? So I, I came across, um, I think it was Coolstar or Sayed's um, tweet whereby they said, they're finding a new exploit for iOS 11.4. So if you're on iOS 11.4 and for some reason cannot be able to, um, you know, install the I IPSW for the beta version, then don't worry, just give it like a week or two and you guys should be up and um, enjoying the jailbreak of official iPhone um, iOS 11.4. Now, I am, um, I'm really sorry that I'm talking really fast. It's just that I want to get done with this video. I want to help you guys, right, as I say. So I am sorry if I'm being too quick. But again, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments or you can hit me up on my social media. Now, the second thing that most people encounter is when you open Electra it, and you click on Enable Jailbreak, it'll go, um, please wait one, two, and then it's going to crash. Or it's going to be like one, and then it's going to crash, right? Now, the, this is something that you guys have to be very, very aware of, right? First of all, turn off Wi-Fi. Second, turn off, um, I mean, yeah, turn off Siri. And thirdly, turn off your passcode. If you have any password or passcode enabled, turn that off. Fourthly, um, go ahead and enable airplane mode. And once you have all that done, make sure that you guys are using the, um, the official in this IPA file, I I I'd say there are other um you can do it without a PC, but the safest way I'd say is by using the official VFS exploit by um from the official um the, the official Electra website. Now, 
once you have that side loaded onto your phone using um, CGI Impactor, um, and you have all the four or five things that I just mentioned, um, like a checklist, as I, as I, I would put it, um, make sure you have all those things um, just like, you know, in the right state. And after that is done, just go ahead and reboot your phone. Um, power, just keep on pressing the power off button, slide to power off, wait for two minutes, power it on. And here's the trick. As soon as you power it on, do not use any apps like Snapchat, Twitter, or whatever. Do not use anything. The trick here is to let Electra run in the background and Electra have almost all the memory to itself. Therefore, do not start any application as soon as you turn the phone on. Just let the phone stay idle for like five to six minutes. And as soon as um, you hit five, the five to six minute marker, go ahead and straight into Electra and click on that jailbreak button. And I guarantee you that this is gonna work because this is what um, I used to fix my problem. And now um, the third problem others encounter is when you purchase one, two, then the Electra app just goes, pfft, it just goes black. But when you press the home button, you can still access um, your phone. Now this is what this means is that jailbreak was semi-successful. Now to fix this again, um, cl close out of the Electra app, power off the phone, wait for two minutes, power it on, do not use any app and then wait for another five minutes, go straight back into Electra um, and click on the jailbreak button. That, 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 should, that should fix your problem. Now, again, if this doesn't work, it's not gonna work in the first try, give it like five, six tries and I, I guarantee you that this is gonna work, okay? Now, finally, um, the other problem people have is that Electra will say open SSH enabled um, and then there's like a pop-up and then but if you try to um, look for Cydia, the Cydia app is not installed. Now to fix this guys, it's really, really easy. Do not panic, okay? So as soon as you see the SSH message, but you don't see um, Cydia, do not power off your phone, right? Do not do anything. Just just, um, just enable Wi-Fi, okay? So after you've enabled Wi-Fi, go back into your settings, go to Wi-Fi, um, go to the connected network and look at the IP address. now. Um, the IP address can be different for everyone. Mine is 192.168.0.11. And then just take a note of this and I'm gonna show you guys what I mean, okay? I'm gonna put the phone there so you guys um, see what's going on. And then I'm gonna go to my PC. It can be a PC or a Mac. Um, there's nothing specific to this. So if you're on a Mac, it's simple. Just go into Spotlight and search for Terminal and press Enter. Now, if you're on a Windows PC, the alternative to Terminal is I think it's a program called um, Putty or Putty, however you know, place this, it's the same process. Um, all you have to do is just follow the steps that I'm gonna do now. So once you have this and your PC connected to the same network, um, simply just go ahead and type SSH space root at um, followed by the IP address. So in my case, it's 192.168.0.11. And press enter now as you can see it'll ask me do you want to continue I'm gonna type yes sometimes it may not ask, ask for this um, don't worry it's completely fine and then when it asks for the root at your IP address password the default password for all CDR um, SSH is called Alpine so I'm just gonna type Alpine and press enter as you can see um, then your phone's name and root with the bash should come up. Now this means that you're successfully into your phone and that the jailbreak is working. Now to get the CDR on the home screen, all you have to do is just type in UI cache and press enter. As It's it's just as simple as pressing UI cache and um, when you do UI cache, it's gonna, I think, refre um, refresh your Springboard and then, you're, and then you can reboot your phone and CDR is gonna be right there. Um, on your home screen. Now, if this doesn't work, um, what you can do is, there's a d another way of doing this, hold on. Sorry. Okay, as you saw, um, my phone was lagging. I fixed Cydia by just doing UI cache enter. Now what this does is it, it just refreshes everything. Um, I already have Cydia, and that's why my phone is again, as you can see, it's freezing. That means that the SSH is doing something to my phone, right? 
but I already have Cydia, so um, it's not gonna like show Cydia again. That's just something obvious, right? So yeah, it's as simple as that. Just type UI cache, and if UI cache doesn't work, I'm going to type in a different command in the description of this video. So just go check that out, and that is it. You, your all your Electra problems should be fixed, and if still you have um, questions about why it's not breaking, don't be scared. Just go ahead and um, you know message me on um, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, or you can put the whatever problem you have in the description of this video. Now, with that being said, I want to conclude um, by a final statement. As you can see, I have um, different tweaks on my phone. I have a, um, the iOS X, um, the home button thing tweak, and then I have the floaty dock that changes as it just it just changes the the dock to um, whatever you prefer you can put how many you want these extras there's a new theme I have as you can see on my lock screen again I have the um, the, the default lock and the dark mode now if you want to know how to do all these tweaks or you want to know more about Cydia tweaks um, just let me know in the comment section that you want to see videos on this and I will continue with this video series now that is all for today's video guys make sure you go ahead and drop a subscribe on this button and click on the bell so that you don't miss the next video now with that being said i'll see you guys in the next one